Mic check, mic check, one, two, mic check. Can y'all hear me? I don't know if y'all can hear me. Anyways, could this be the last tool haul slash toolbox tour of 2023? Guys, we finished 2023 and we just finished it. All right, we're hoping for a, a better, more successful 2024 year. I do have some plans for 2024, but we'll talk about that some other time for now we're going to do an update toolbox tour of this box of my roller and some of y'all who are new to the channel who have never seen my toolbox or never seen inside of it this is an opportunity for y'all to see what's inside a nissan master technicians toolbox now this is my all day everyday toolbox it's not the cleanest it's not the prettiest but it gets the job done because i use it for storage and it goes everywhere with me and depending on how this video does, we will do an updated video on the Matco strap-on. So for now, let's get into this video. And uh, there's a lot of other tools that I've replaced with new tools. And I don't mean just replaced. I'm talking about upgraded and or color changes. So let's get into it. Okay, now first off, starting off, as y'all can see, once you walk up to my box, this is what you see. You might even see yourself. Uh, <laughs> but I have a couple nut trays, parts trays, magnetic trays, if you will, uh, just holding various nuts and bolts and stuff that I use. I use these to chain up stuff, these to chain up, that to plug hoses, you know. And these are just uh, a 10, I got two 10s extra an eight extra and a 12 extra just in case and i keep them zip tight together for why i don't know and then uh what do we got over here oh we got a spare five millimeter as well and then this again y'all see it's just holding various things this is a fuel line uh block off tool for when we do our efis i have a phillips bit i have a bit driver various bit drivers various tents to lock tensioners and stuff in place and then of course you come up here and same thing brackets i don't know why that's up there extra terminal just in case uh, i got my mini floodlight or puck light whatever y'all want to call it i got a couple of my magnets right there i have y'all really ain't never seen these because i barely use them but i'm starting to use them a lot more now that i have a uh, impact driver with the quarter inch attachment so we got that this is an old o'reilly's magnet and then uh couple pocket screwdrivers right now, here coming into the lid we see i have all my bits and sockets guys i use these things so much on the back which i don't really use unless i really need to use with the half inch i have the extra shallow or you know nano sockets back there from uh who are these from i think they're from mac focus oh experts okay I have those and then I have the precision torque three eighths or I'm sorry, half inch deep sockets, half inch guys, which as y'all can see, I use that one. I use that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one the most coming over here. We have specialty sockets, O2 sensor socket, O2 sensor socket, and uh, I think oil pressure sender socket as well. And then we have axle sockets back here, thin wall axle uh more axle sockets big 36 mil oem tools because y'all saw that hub i did if y'all didn't see that hub on the damn dodge dart it'll be right up in the corner had hell with that and this is just an overflow of this so as y'all see we stop right here at i want to say this is like a 12 mil yeah 12 mil and then it goes all the way down to a 10 mil. So we have 11 and 10 because they don't make these damn socket rails big enough. Then we have overflow 3 8 standard shorts because I don't really use 3 8 standards, uh, but we do have all the 3 8 swivel sockets back here, deep, right? Then we have 3 8 21 and 22, or is it 22 and 21? 
what's this one? 22, okay, so 21, 22, 3 eighths swivel shorts. 3 eighths fuel line tool, right? 3 eighths or 5 eighths or something like that. Oh, 5 sixteenths, I'm sorry. 5 six, sixteenths fuel line tool. So this gets used along with that one right there. Then we have the Expert, some Expert uh, 3 eighths deep standard and then we have adv i believe these are i don't have no depth perception looking through the camera yeah these are advs uh torx sockets and we have the adv torque sockets down here we got a little three or a quarter inch extension for those and then this one i think oh half inch right there for the big t55 oh t60 adv and then we have some snap on right here as y'all can see some are missing i don't know what happened to them and we have the short uh quarter inch this is gonna be bad we have the shallow quarter inch back here in metric then we have the metric or uh quarter inch ratchet we got all the three eighths deep metric from expert we got three eighths metric shallows with a i think there's a two inch and then that's a three inch and then of course we have another 21 those are two 21s in case one breaks because we use those the most and then a universal joint we have a three eighths to half inch adapter a chevy filter socket for my chevys and then uh, we have a three eighths to quarter inch and we have standard or i'm sorry we have a shallow 3 8 wobble sockets, which I use all of the time. And then, of course, right here, half or 3 8 to half inch adapter, 4 through 10 hex with another 3 inch, a shallow, I'm sorry, not a shallow, a thin wall 21, half inch universal. I think this is a, I don't know what this is, a 14? Yeah, 14 millimeter Pittsburgh right there. I think this is a 12 mil, 14 mil actually. And then uh, we got a 19 and another 21 and then uh, knuckle separator. Coming on the side right here, we have Mayhew pry bars. We've got the smallest, small one, right? All the way up to the largest, not largest, but it's a 36 inch or something like that. And we have all the Phillips screwdrivers over there then we have an incomplete as i was saying incomplete screwdriver flat headset uh but guys i gotta pause this video right now sister just pulled up i gotta work on her car and we'll continue this in a second oh my golly y'all see that this wheel is just <clears throat> yep and we have a brand new strut for her right here so we're gonna do that after we finish this video because if they see me working they won't kick me out as fast as if i'm not working so we had the flathead screwdrivers old craftsman pry bar still works guys it's just not a uh striking handle and we have the pry tools y'all know green and we got the stubby screwdrivers right here uh one flathead one phillips on my wheel locks right here we have the 129 e plus guys if y'all it's a scanner launch if y'all want to go check that out check that out right there um i believe today's the last day for the coupon uh, i think 25 percent off and then uh, there's a coupon as well so y'all go check it out don't don't slack on taking it. a look into my first drawer we got precision torque 20 through 24 uh combination wrenches we got ratcheting wrench combination wrenches we have some picks. We have some Rolox back here, which I don't even use anymore. Air hammer bits. We got the mountains right here with one Matco uh, 14 with the flex head. Got a stone back there. This is new to this toolbox tour. Okay, Capri 6 through 24. Absolutely love this. I'm saving my ratcheting ends because now I have regular. It took me forever to get regular.
combination wrenches. A couple woodlock keys, line wrench, stubby ratcheting, guys. Y'all know I love my ratcheting, my ratchets. I love the ratchets, guys. <laughs> then from Billy Tools, uh, we have a knuckle spreader. I haven't used it yet. And I almost forgot about the green picks. And then these I use all the time. Those I use on interior because they stay clean. These ones are dirty, of course. And those are the long ones. Taking a look into the wrench set or the plier drawer. I'm sorry. Uh, we have green now. Green long uh, pliers. Of course, everyday use. Push pin clips. We got a couple extensions. We got a hood prop tool. Uh, we got some CVT boot pliers for the clamps. Some vice grips. A couple vice grips. C clip plier. C clip pliers right here. Sorry, guys. Uh, seal puller. Cobra. Some more CV boot pliers. Control arm tool. Some of this stuff, guys, y'all can find in my description. Icon. We got an icon. Rent ratchet, guys. I actually use it. I thought I was gonna take it home and keep it there. I said nope. Various extensions and ratchets. My ratchet game, guys, is weak. Cause I can't justify buying multiple ratchets like some of these other YouTubers. <sighs> I wish I could, but I can't. Torque wrench for quarter inch. Torque wrench for three eighths, and then the half inches over there so we got a mac flex head with the comfort grip matco flex head with the comfort grip three eighths half inch and of course axle nut tools off of amazon then various extensions locking extensions i got a regular ratchet right there uh locking extension this harbor freight three eighths quarter inch yeah power tool drawer this is new this wasn't here last time think this is new and that's new because this was the old I, this was i had the old one guys so we have the mac screw gun this is an actual screw screw gun not an impact driver matco drill three eighths old style okay and then three eighths stubby matco and we have the mac ratchet love that thing it's like nine years old already Three eighths, which I just got repaired. Last time it was getting repaired, I just got it repaired again. Damn. Now this is the one, the only. Oh, 1600 foot pounds of breakaway massive torque. Brand new guys. Then we have the Milwaukee stubby. We have the DeWalt stubby. We have the right angle. 3 8. We have the mid short 3 8. And we have the drill driver, which I use this for those sockets right over there. And then I just have various nuts and bolts. Guys, like I said, I'm not the most organized, but because I use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Matco half inch, half inch stubby. I got the uh I want to say this a half horsepower. We got the Mac, 3 8 ratchet, ha old Matco, <laughs> full size 3 8 die grinder from Mac, which is actually Astro, of course. We got some different pry bars right there. Air gauge, old air hammer that I had. This is what I started with, guys, that one right there. And then I got my old faithful 3 8 stubby, which <laughs> engines, transmission, suspension all day. Die grinder, air hammer, which I need to replace. Cause it just doesn't, it, it like intermittently just blows air and that's it. And then trash. Down here we have the coolant pressure tester. We have my Venturi. We have a universal radiator adapter set. We got my purses, cheater pipe, um, adapter for the Rogue Sports and kicks and Versus. Grease gun, y'all see that? What does that say? What does that say? Snappy. Um, oh, and a hood prop right there. Don't get mad, guys. Okay. I have extra fluid. <laughs> and then we have my control arm uh, finger saver 3000 down there in that blue case. Sure shot. Combustion leak detector. That's new. 
uh, bearing and seal master set. We have the die. We have some CVT fluid. We have this right here. I think this is the M18 uh, grease gun. And of course, various fluid on the side right here, cup. And then my gloves. Okay, guys. So this is the updated 2023 toolbox tour. If y'all liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If y'all didn't like it, give me a thumbs up. Comment y'all's favorite tool in this box or what y'all would like to see me use more in videos. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. Last toolbox tour of 2023. Let's go 24. Let's have a better 24. Y'all have a happy new year. Happy holidays. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Deuce. Won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. Never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic.